I would like to welcome you all to the Cowboys Eagles post game show. We just finished and wrapped up watching the Cowboys just dominate the Eagles in all facets of the game. Oh. Except, oh, I'll give the special teams to the Cowboys also, and I'll get into that when we do the breakdown and analysis of this game. Before we do, I'd like to make sure to subscribe to Jason's channel. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're following him on TikTok, make sure you also like and follow him on TikTok. Um, I am doing the special uh, post-game show for him, so there you go. So, all right, let's uh, talk about this real fast. So, Dallas got off to a fast start. Um, that, that touchdown drive on the, the first drive of the game set the tone, got up 7 nothing, and then Philly... Um, I think fumbled on the on the following drive, and that led to the the field goal drive, ten nothing. But then Philly just couldn't get anything going um, offensively at all. So they were up ten. I mean, they made it ten to three, but that's as close as they got throughout the rest of the game. Because um, then Dallas again with a touchdown made it seventeen to three uh, with that ticky tacky where. Rico Doddle um, was short. They, they called him short initially, but then, then it was overturned. And then Philly turned it over. And then Dallas had a 24 to six lead heading into uh, in, in, heading into halftime. So, um, and then Philly got into it somehow with a fumble six. Uh, but that was all she wrote really, because Dallas uh, uh, Philly again with another turnover. I think it was Devontae Smith that just snuffed it out, and, and Dallas just kicked field goals from, from there on out. So, 33-13 to 13 is your final. Um, This is going to be an interesting playoff. Our playoff picture now has a shakeup, because um, even though the Eagles do have a half-game lead, any more falling, we'll see how this goes. Again, Dallas just dominated. Uh, they basically forced turnovers. They didn't... They got... I believe one sack of Hurts, but that was really it. Um, they got they didn't home. need it. They didn't need it because they, they swarmed to mm. the football. They didn't need the sack of Hurts because they swarmed to the football. They everybody did their job. And they, so they and, and, yeah. Uh, shout out to um to Stefan Gilmore, who was the defensive player of the of the game, really shutting down AJ Brown and Devontae Smith. So. Um, everyone was talking about how um, Darius Slay was going to shut down C.D. Lamb. Nope, C.D. Lamb got his got his catches. You know, he was he and it was sporadic. It wasn't boom, boom, boom to C.D. Lamb. It was a mix of of that of run game and then Dak Prescott keeping plays alive with his leg and then just letting it rip to Brandon Cooks, who had a a, a solid game. I mean, even. Uh, Michael Gallup had had a huge, you know, had big catches. So, you know, he's spreading the wealth. And, um, Ferguson uh, also got a few catches. So, Dak Prescott's really uh, spreading the wealth around, and I think that that's what Dallas needs to do if they want to be successful. He um, needs to he the needs, the rest of the to, season. He's going the offense, and honestly, in the playoffs. Well, I don't know what you think. Well, he's he's going into the offense right now. As it is at this moment, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Philadelphia got punched in the mouth, and they got no plan. We'll see what Dallas does from from here on out um, for for the rest of the season. They got they got the Buffalo Bills coming up next mm -hmm. week. Um, I mean, they got they still got a, a few tough games coming up. Do do the Dallas Cowboys? They got Buffalo. They got Detroit. Um, I'm missing one. Um, I'm blanking on point, their. From this point to me, the Niners are, are going to be the number one seed. I don't think anybody anybody's going to challenge them. The Niners, the only challenging mm. game they have left is in Baltimore, and I still don't mm. think that's going to be that challenging for them. Yeah. But um, yeah, uh, it was a solid win for for Dallas. Um, so the Dallas defense did what they needed to do. Shout out also to uh, Brandon Aubrey, who 
had a 60-yard field goal, a 59-yard field goal, a 45-yard field goal, and I don't know what the uh, what his last one was. But I he went four a, for four that on was the a night. Thirty-three yarder. Oh, a thirty-three yarder. Okay, thank you. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But um. Uh, four. Uh, but four for four, two big, and two out of the four were were fifty plus uh, field goals. No yeehaw apparently for Jason because of the fumble six. I mean, that's the only hiccup that that Dallas okay. had, honestly. In my in opinion, the NFL, you need to have a short memory. Do not let these things get a hold of you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, and and they did have a short memory because they the Eagles defense came back. Or the the Cowboys defense came back and got a fumble of their own, so and yep. they didn't get they the Eagles didn't get, they did Eagles didn't get any memory. stuff of it. The Eagles did not have a short memory, and it's 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 that that caused them to like mm. to basically snowball into nothing. Who do you who do you think win to to wrap up this this uh, quick post game? Who do you think wins this the division with this development? No, Cowboys. I think it's the Cowboys right now. I would have said the Eagles, but at the same time, I just think. This is the problem. I, of course, the Cowboys and Eagles are the front runners, but this is my this is the, this is the problem. Eagles need to beat Seattle on Monday night. This loss right here just makes the game on Monday night against Seattle that much more important. And do not mm -hmm. underestimate Seattle because that right now they're sharks that smell blood in the water, and that blood is coming from a wounded Philadelphia team. Yeah. But um, that's it. That's all. Um, I don't have the stats. I know that that Jason does stats. I just don't have them at this point. I don't feel like looking them up. My bad. Um, I mean, uh, all, all you need to do is dominated by the base. Cowboys. I mean, um, Rico Dottle. I think Rico Dottle and and um and Tony Pollard are a lethal duo. I mean, uh, they were talking about how Ezekiel Elliott and and Tony Pollard were the guys, but. I feel like Rico Dottle is better at that than um yeah, agreed. than um than Zeke is at this point. Um, also, some key injury notes: uh, Jonathan Hankins went down with an injury. Um, that could I be don't big going what, forward. Yeah. So, um, you know that defensive tackle spot is going to get thin for Dallas. Uh, we'll see what they do to to replace him. We'll see how how bad the injury is at the end of the day. But aside from that, I think they ended up um, relatively healthy. Um, if so. if you are any offense playing against Dallas, be afraid, be very afraid, because those blitzes look people. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the blitz is what what got them, and and it, it wasn't again, like I said, Stefan Gilmore uh, shut everything down. I mean, we're expected Deron Bland who. Has burst onto the scene this year after the Steph, uh, uh, excuse me, the um, Trayvon Diggs injury with uh, six pick sixes has eight interceptions on the year. Does Deron Bland this year? But you know, uh, Stephon Gilmore is the guy tonight, uh, sticking and and hitting uh, Devontae Smith and and AJ Brown. So, but that's it. That's all, y'all. That's it for this post game. That's it for this live stream. Like I said, if you're watching this on J Sports, make sure you hit that like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, follow him on TikTok. Uh, we will be back at some point this week. I think we're doing a hockey stream on Tuesday night, um, streaming the Golden Knights. It's called Get the And then we're out doing of here. actually, oh, we're actually doing a Thursday night stream before I have to go. But that's it. That's all, y'all. Have a good night.